Okay, social media. In the next couple of years, there are going to be a couple of questions that are going to be answered. The first question is, why is everyone quitting YouTube so much? Why is everyone quitting TikTok? Why, why are people just suddenly, these successful people that have, they've actually purchased houses, cars, lifestyles, based on social media presence, being an influencer. They've made millions, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. So why are these people quitting? Well, there is one answer to this that is probably something that you wouldn't think that these high-end creators would be affected by. They are being affected by organic reach. Organic reach has been taken away from every social platform in favor of advertising. Now, organic reach is good for the newcomer, the beginner, and everything else, like me. Yeah, organic reach will probably let me go viral. But for me, this doesn't mean that much. But organic reach for the high-end influencer, the high-end creator, when this starts becoming missing, then what they thought was a pleasurable job, you know, they always say, you know, it doesn't matter how much you get paid if you love, if you love what you do. Well, organic reach was what made people love what they do. And when you don't have organic reach, then... What happens is your YouTube channel, your TikTok channel, your Instagram becomes work. It becomes lots of work, stressful work. Because before you could do what you knew, what you enjoyed, what you liked, and not worry about it. Because organic reach would compensate for the problems that you may have had with production sound quality, things of that sort, organic reach would still push you past that point. Well, now since organic reach is gone, then these people are realizing that these schedules that they have to keep, you know, yeah, posting every Monday at 4 o'clock or making two videos per day and everything else, it doesn't sound like it's fun anymore, does it? <laughs> it becomes work and it's stressful. Now, when you compare the stress-related, the work that, it, that is stress-related with social media to something like working at Starbucks, well, Starbucks doesn't have very much pressure. If you're going to work in a General Motors truck plant, then there's not very much pressure or stress with working there. Because you know what you're going to do every day, and you do it all the time, and you get a paycheck for it. But if you're on YouTube, you go to work every day, and you may not get paid. You may be, you may be shadow banned, copyright infringement, all kinds of things that might cause you not to be able to make money. So you might be working... You could work a 70-hour work week as a social media influencer and not make a nickel. And if you go on Spotify, you're a musician, and you go on Spotify, you could spend hours and hours and hours coming up with songs, music, creativity, and you will only earn a nickel. And this is because Spotify also has a problem with organic reach. Playlist. Playlist placement is no longer organic. It's controlled by Spotify. So, yeah, being a musician is out, everything else. And now people are starting to realize the truth. The truth was that you did not go out by listening to some internet guru and planning on doing the certain things that they tell you have to do to become popular and an influencer, you started doing this stuff because it was fun. It was 
it was a kind of work you could do that didn't have any stress rela related to it. Hey, how can it be stress related to do a shuffle dance? It, there's no no problem with that. Hey, I just learned how to do the shuffle dance. Up up there, upload a few videos, and voila, I've got ten thousand followers. If I'm a good looking man or woman, and uh, suddenly I have an income that surpasses my regular income from working at H and M clothing. But yeah, without organic reach, this is not going to happen. This means that you will have to try hard, wake up every morning, do things every day in order to push yourself past that organic reach. And this thing with advertising is also a problem. You might want to be able to create a video that is short. I only have five minutes of real dialogue here, but in order for me to get paid by YouTube, I have to come up with a half-hour program. Well, yeah, you're forcing yourself to do something that you just don't want to do. I'm not going to say that you can't do. I'm just saying you don't want to do it. And then this is where the stress call comes up. And this is why people are quitting. Because social media, YouTube, and the rest of them are starting to force people to do things that they just don't want to do. And not one of these people will just say, uh, yeah, I'm quitting YouTube because I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> no one, everyone says, yeah, my kids, my job, my life, I want to spend more time doing this, I want to spend more time doing that. But the actuality is that without organic reach, without this possibility of having a lottery ticket for everything that you do as a creator, it's boring. It's really boring, it's stressful, and it's more work than it's worth. It might have been great when you were making money, but now you're not making money. It might have been great when you were getting free money, but now you're not getting free money. You know, because I could create this video right here, and if this video went viral, then it would be, for me, it would be free money because I'm talking about stuff that I like to talk about and stuff that I know to talk about. And I didn't wake up this morning thinking, I have to make a video about YouTube and the rest of social media and how things are going in the world. I didn't wake up thinking about that. But if I did wake up every day and have to think that, oh yeah, I have to get a video out, then I wouldn't be doing, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be doing this because to me, having a regular paying job and everything else, the security, the health care, all the other stuff that goes along with it are done. They, they're done. They're pushed over to the side. And so they, I don't have to stress for them. But if YouTube is your only source of income, how do you pay for your health care? How do you pay for the gasoline in your car? The, the mortgage payments and everything else when YouTube is gone. Because you can't complain to your boss because you are your own boss. <coughs> now there are a lot of things that lead people to do this quitting. Most of them have to do with age. Because I don't know if you've heard of PewDiePie, but PewDiePie is still on the internet. 20 years later, he's still on the internet and everything else. But he made millions early in his life at 16, 17 years old. Made millions of, of dollars. And he did. He never had to work again. I mean, literally, at the age of 16, 17 years old, he was a millionaire that would not ever have to work again for the rest of his life. <laughs> so people like him are going to go like, Hey, wait a minute. If I have all this money, if I have all this time, why don't I just go do something else? Why don't I go build something? Why don't I go make something, create something else, instead of putting my face on camera, playing video games all the time? And this didn't happen when he was 17 years old. But when you're 27, this stuff comes up. When you're 37, it comes up 
even more. You start wondering about your life. You're like, oh, what am I going to do next year? What am I going to do five years from now? Because nothing lasts forever. Even even these people that thought that their jobs, that I've been working at this company for 35 years. No. I'm, you know, I, I'm the, you know, I've been working at this company for 50 years since the inception of the company. These people are, <laughs> they are the exception to the rule. And the rule is that companies don't last forever. They get purchased by other companies. They die. The economy changes. Many things can happen to a company. But the thing, one thing about social media is that we have, it, it's, it has become like water. Social media will always be there because it, it, it's a utility now. But now it's a utility that serves up rusty methane injected water. <laughs> so these people, are, and people are starting to see this problem happening on their day to day job of creating content. YouTube and the rest of them are not helping the situation anymore. The pe more people are going to quit. The more advertising you put on the platform, the more people are going to quit. Because the more stress are you going to put on these people. You're going to say, well, you know, we're going to be here. YouTube can say, yeah, we're going to be here anyway, even if these people don't create content. Because we will use artificial intelligence. Other people will use artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence is the second part of this problem. How do you comp compete with a machine? Because a machine can run 24 hours a day. A machine doesn't wake up in the morning and go like, eh, you know, my back hurts. I don't feel, maybe I drank too much alcohol last night and I'm not going to make a video today. A machine will just do it. And nowadays... There are a lot of content creators, people that want you to believe that the quality of your content is what really matters. Like, yeah, you got to make good content. You got to make quality content. You're spending hours and hours upon hours making quality content, and then you're competing against a 16-year-old kid that just uses AI to create the same thing in 5, 20 minutes. And it's that kind of thing that is happening right now because whether or not people say it or not influencers uh musicians and everybody else all of this is a competition a competition to get on the top 20 list if you're lucky enough it, and organic reaches there then you might hit that top 20 for a second and then you drop back down but at least you got high enough to where you can actually earn the income of, off of it. But without organic reach, there's no chance of you getting up there. So it's just work. You're working for free, putting out content that an AI will use against you. Yeah, you, know, you ah, I created a perfect video about all of this stuff, and the guy just goes and presses a button, and then. Suddenly, everything I talked about, everything I did, all everything I was stressing over is in his video, and he didn't do shit. What he did was he used AI, and AI took my content and some content from another person that worked just as hard as I did and created something that I have to compete with. So this is what also why people are quitting. AI is just taking stuff and repackaging it. it. Can you imagine that if, because people do this when they run businesses, they find a cheap, cheap source of something. Let's say every time I go to uh, shopping, I see that H&M has t-shirts on sale for five euros per t-shirt. And I go and I go, I'm going to buy a hundred t-shirts 
for five euros and then because H and M and the rest of Primark and the rest of they are cheap. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those t-shirts and then I'm going to go out to the flea market on the street and I'm just gonna take those five dollar t shirts and I'm gonna sell them for ten dollars. <laughs> just repackage the H and M way and in their product, H and M is never going to complain about it. So, you will actually be making money for a while until H and M gets wind of the fact that, hey, if we can sell those things for ten bucks, our five dollar T shirts for ten dollars, then why should we put it on sale? And suddenly you're out of business. And this is what's happening with advertising. This before. The creator was in charge of kind of like where the advertising went, where the advertising was placed through their own creation. They had kind of a, a, some semblance of control where things were going to go, but now they don't have that anymore. The more advertising that is put in, the less control that they have, and the less they want to make content. I'm making this video a little bit longer than normal because it's me ranting, basically. But you get the idea that the reason that people are quitting social media and going back to having a regular life is because two things. They are not young anymore. They are not teenagers anymore. And <laughs> when you're not a teenager, then any job becomes harder. I mean, you could have a job mowing lawns or doing anything as a teenager, but as you grow up, waking up to do that same job becomes uh, stressful and something that you just don't want to do. And this is where we are today. And so there are going to be more people quitting in 2024. And then there are going to be more changes made in YouTube and TikTok and the rest because they still want to make their money. And they will be doing things that people not only will not like, but will cause their creators no end of stress and, and cause a backlash. They will still be making money off of advertising because of AI and other people putting up stupid videos. So they won't stress over losing these creators. But the time period for being an influencer. You know, one of the things that was really surprising to me was that when asked what they want to do in life. A 12 year old girl says I want to be an influencer. Well she's 12 years old. Six years, seven years into her future. Will YouTube be there in order for her to become an influencer? This thing that she wants to do and make money and become a millionaire off of, will it be there? Probably not, because it's changing now. What she's seeing now as a future of her life won't be there. So she will wind up being a business manager or a sales manager or a car salesman. Instead of a YouTube influencer. Maybe even a doctor. But the time of social media. Millionaires. Is over with. And because if these people can make millions of dollars. On social media. Through advertising. Advertising sharing. Then YouTube and the rest of them are going to say well. We created millionaires. And these millions that they have now. Maybe we should take that stuff back. Maybe we should keep it. Because that's what's coming next. They're just going to stop paying creators. Now, you can use the platform. You can spread your regular business. Use YouTube as advertising for your regular business and your, and your own life and everything else. But in two, three years from now, YouTube will not be paying anyone. Spotify will not be paying musicians. They will just, everybody will stop paying out this stuff. 
because this time is over with because their profit margins are so very thin and they want to increase those profit margins and so you have things like them saying hey, if you want to get organic reach which is the secret sauce of everything that happens on the internet is organic reach then you have to press that promote button and pay us and if you don't pay us you can forget about us paying you. What they're saying is, yeah, you have to keep the pyramid going. You have to keep the the network and the Ponzi scheme going. You have to keep people interested in wanting to become influencers. You have to keep people interested in wanting to do that so we can get more content from these people. They want they want to be who you are. As long as you have a bunch of people that everybody wants to be, then they will create more content. And our advertising system will work. And in the future, with everybody quitting and not, anyone not caring about everything, not wanting to compete with AI, they would just say, well, yeah, it was good while it lasted. We were paying you guys. We were giving you money and you, you made your life and everything else. But, yeah, that's all over with now. So it's 2024 now. Did you ever think that uh, 2037 was going to be a year that was uh, made a big difference? The Unix code ending and things of that sort. Well, 2027, 10 years before that, it will be the death of paid, paid to make, uh, you know, get, getting paid to create things. Three years from now, there won't be any of this, so enjoy it while it lasts.